，今天将界定未来的世界。今天不仅仅决定未来国际政治的形态，也会影响经济的结构。Semiconductors, he said, was pervasive. I, I thought that was an unfortunate choice of a word, pervasive. It sounded too much like pervert, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, I prefer ubiquitous, ubiquitous. Anyway, ubiquitous. I think there's a basic assumption we need to make that there's no war. There's no war in the Taiwan Strait. There's no war between the United States and China. We, we need to make that assumption. After making that assumption, how do you see what, what, what is the supply chain uh, going to be like in uh, Five years or ten years. Today it's almost impossible to find a device with an on off switch except for light bulbs that don't have semiconductors inside. I like to think about my daily routine. I wake up in the morning, turn off my alarm clock, there's semiconductors inside of there. I open the refrigerator, there's semiconductors inside of there. Does not mean the economy business, but it can also appeal to the consumer itself. Will uh, lead to rising prices. Will not happen in already. Of what went wrong in the Soviet chip industry and what went right in the Korean and the Taiwanese and the Japanese chip industries is that uh, technological advances and new market positions are provided above all by integrating international supply chains, by buying from the best component suppliers, by selling to advanced customers, by acquiring the most advanced tools that are available on the international market. Uh, and it seems to me that the challenge that Chinese firms face right now is that it's, it's no longer possible to follow the strategy that Taiwanese and South Korean firms followed over the past several decades um, because that requires deep integration which Chinese firms, at least at the leading edge, are being uh, restricted from accessing.